well yes you need to take care of yourself at this point in time when jupiter and mercury are together in the aries sign that is from the 26th of march 2024 until 9th of april 2024 you know what others say about you will not change your life will not make a difference to your life will not impact your life what you say to yourself is more important what you say to yourself can change your life make a difference to your life it can make an impact on your life what other people think about you is not important it can't change your life but what you think about yourself is important so you need to say and think the right things at this point in time you need to think and say that i am strong i am powerful i am healthy i am rich i am prosperous i am a masterpiece i am talented i am gifted i can do all things and don't be bothered about other people at this juncture because others are going to say and think things about you whether you do a thing right or wrong it's their duty to say and think things let them do their duty and you do yours because the only thing in your life is you if you aren't there this world isn't there nothing is there for you so you have to take care of yourself at this juncture when jupiter and mercury are together in the aries sign you know you and only you are the subject that impacts the burning desire in your imagination and imagination is everything imagination is the preview of life's coming attraction what's gonna come in your life will first be manifested in your mind in your imagination and at this point in time when jupiter and mercury are together in the aries sign you have to have a mind which is open to everything and attached to nothing you can't undermine yourself at this point in time you can't underestimate yourself at this point in time the fact of the matter is that no one knows enough to be a pessimist about anything and that each and every one of us when we close our mind to what is possible for us or what is possible for humanity closes of the genius that resides and lives within each and every one of us so don't have a closed mind at this point in time be open to everything at this point in time look at things from every angle at this point in time and don't overthink about things at this point in time you know you might have a very simple solution to your problem but because of your overthinking you haven't got the answer to your problems before so you need to have a mind which is open to everything and attached to nothing you know sometimes there are many ways to reach a destination to solve your problem in your life you know your mind is everything in this world yes your mind is everything in this world if you can control your mind you can control your life i repeat that if you can control your mind you can control your life everything first germinates in a human's mind before it becomes a reality so if you want good in your life you need to germinate good thoughts in your mind and if you want a terrible life if you want something bad for yourself which no one in this world wants then start thinking bad things in your mind well i agree that we can't control the thoughts which are coming into our mind but we can definitely control the thoughts which we dwell on which we think about which we ponder so start focusing on those positive thoughts well the fact of the matter is that everything which you see in this world today was part of somebody else's mind so you need to take care of your mind at this juncture and you can do this by thinking positive acting positive feeling positive having a positive attitude inculcating positive 
habits and behaviors in your life and you need to believe that everything is possible for you you can do all things in this world you need to have this attitude at this point in time that you can conquer the world with your intelligence with your talents with your gifts with your skills at this point in time you know god has given every one of us some talent and we have to exploit that talent to earn money in this world to become successful in this world to do the things in this world i fail to believe that anyone in this world is without talent abilities skills god has given you that talent and gift it's only that you haven't deciphered that talent at this point in time i mean until now and once you decipher that talent that gift which god has given to you if you recognize that talent and ability which god has given you then you can work wonders in your life if you know what your purpose is on this planet earth and if you recognize that and if you start working on it day in and day out then sky is the limit for you so understanding and deciphering and recognizing what your talents are what your gifts are what your skills are and above all what is the purpose of your life what is the calling on your life is of paramount importance in your life and this jupiter mercury in the aries sign can give you this opportunity to recognize your talents gifts and abilities you know your goal your destination in your life should be very clear you know if you don't know where you want to go then how will you reach that destination you will keep wandering aimlessly in your life so setting goals in your life is important setting your destination in your life is important if a ship or an airplane doesn't know where its destination is then that ship and airplane will keep wandering aimlessly in the sky or in the ocean so you need to have a particular goal in your life and you need to split that long term goal into smaller goals you need to take a step at a time towards that big goal in your life it won't happen overnight it won't happen in a jiffy nothing is gonna happen suddenly and immediately you have to go through the process you have to take a step at a time you have to build that building step by step brick by brick floor by floor so you need to realize these things at this point in time when jupiter and mercury are together in the aries sign and don't let anyone disturb you at this point in time if you are getting disturbed by your friends by your relatives by your near or dear ones you need to start avoiding them at this point in time if you think people are wasting your time by their talks by their gossip by talking about things which are of no importance to you in your life then you should avoid and ignore those people at this point in time i'd say that you need to discard those people at this point in time you know if that conversation if that person is not productive purposeful profitable or positive for your life then you should stop talking to those kind of people don't let anyone tell you what you can or cannot do in your life nobody knows you enough that they can tell you what you can or cannot do in your life don't give them the power the authority to tell you what you can or cannot do in your life only you know what you can or cannot do how will others know what you can or cannot do they don't know your goals your dreams those goals and dreams have been given to you by god and these goals and dreams of yours haven't been given to others so how will they know what you can or cannot do these goals and dreams have been given to you in your mind by god and accordingly god has given you those talents gifts abilities skills and then god has germinated within you your desires and wishes and only you know what is best for you and what you can or cannot do in your life 
and if you have given this authority and power to others to tell you what you can or cannot do then take it back from them at this point in time when Jupiter and Mercury are together in the Aries sign. Well, you need to take extreme good care of yourself, your mind, your body at this point in time because this is what you have. And if others are trying to pollute your mind, if others are trying to disturb you at this point in time, discard them from your life. Because if they are trying to disturb you, they are trying to disturb your life. They are trying to stop you from reaching the purpose of your life. The purpose for which you are born on this planet Earth. So do the things which you are supposed to do, which you want to do and follow your heart at this juncture. I mean when Jupiter and Mercury are in the Aries sign. Well, this is all I wanted to tell you all about Jupiter and Mercury in the Aries sign. If you want some specific predictions about yourself, then you are most welcome to contact me. Well, like I always say that if you wish to know your future through astrology and you are determined to live the best possible version of yourself, well, one must always try to live his or her best version of themselves because there is only one life to live. There are no duplicates of a life. You will not get a chance to live this particular human life once again. And if you want to enhance your luck in your life, if you want to boost your luck in your life, if you want to increase and improve your luck in your life, then I want to tell you all, I have several remedies for you. You know, these remedies which I'm talking about are a fusion of astrological remedies, vastu remedies and religious remedies, which can be utilized by any person of any religion. And if you want me to pray for you, because prayer can move, mountains. So if you want me to pray for your health, wealth, success, money, business, career, job, relationships, love relationships, marriage, married life, children, property, education, etc, 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 then also you may contact me. You may also contact me for a Vastu instrument. This Vastu instrument can solve all your Vastu problems of your home, office or factory. And if you are hellbent, on taking your life from the ridiculous to the sublime, from the low point to the high point, from nothing to something, then you may contact me over WhatsApp. My WhatsApp number has been given on this video. Have a great day and a great life ahead. God bless you all. Jai Matadi. जय मां काली